we have two angles given and a, a side that is opposite one of those angles. So this is um, angle, angle, side. And for angle, angle, side, we're going to use the law of sines. This is not the ambiguous case. And so it doesn't really, we don't need to draw a picture to get any idea of what's going on here. So I'm just going to jump right in and, uh, and solve this. So the law of sines, there's uh, we can do the form where the angles are on top. Sine of A over A equals sine of B over B equals sine of C over C. Um, or we can use the form that has the sides on top. Now, when I have two angles, the first thing is we can find that third angle by simply uh, subtracting those two from 180. So the angle C will be 180 degrees minus 46 degrees minus 34 degrees. And that equals uh, 100 degrees. So now if I uh, plug that plug everything in that I know um, and notice I have all three angles So I'm actually going to flip the flip the fractions here because the things I don't know I want those on top. So a over sine of 46 degrees equals B over sine of 34 degrees equals uh, C over sine of the angle C which is hundred degrees and I actually do know that side a that was given to me is 27. And now to solve for B or C, I'm going to be using the two equalities here. I've got this one right here, and I've got uh, this one right here. Okay. So let's look at that first one. <clears throat> 27 over sine of 46 degrees equals B over sine of 34 degrees. And if I multiply both sides here by sine of 34 degrees, I get 27 sine of 34 degrees over sine of 46 degrees equals B. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other one uh, before plugging these into the calculator. And then for this second uh, equality here, if I multiply both sides by the sine of 100, um, I guess let me go ahead and write it out, 27 over sine of 46 degrees equals C over sine of 100 degrees. If I multiply both sides by sine of 100 degrees, I get 27 sine of 100 degrees over sine of 46 degrees equals C. Now we can go ahead and plug these in to the calculator. Check that I'm in degree mode and then I start plugging in. So I've got 27 sine of 34 over sine of 46 and that's going to be my uh, that's going to be b so about about uh about 21 actually so 21 for b and uh for c same thing but i'm just going to go ahead and copy and then change that 127 sine of 100 over sine of 46 and we get here about 37 so about 37 for C. And so I've got my triangle and with the angle angle side, there's no no ambiguity here. It's not an ambiguous case. We just get uh, we get a single a single triangle.